Well, I am back at my property cutting some grass. I didn't get to do it last weekend, so we're doing it this weekend. Looks a little bit better. Still looks like an empty lot. But Monday, we start the process with the town in Harleyville and get that done. And then it's off to send the plans to the county. So six or eight weeks from now, we're going to be looking at having the concrete guys out here and getting that done and having the buildings on the property. So we're looking at maybe mid-May, we'll start getting the inside on this thing, have it built and have everything done on the inside after May. It ain't going to be by May, I can tell you that much. But it'll be getting done, and it will be. This is a lot of damn grass. It takes you about two and a half, three hours to cut this grass. I got over a half an acre, as you know. Um, but hey, if I'd have waited uh, about a week or two more on this, it would have been hard to cut this. So it's going a little bit quicker because it's not as thick or tall. So we're going to get it done, my friends. We're going to get it done. Uh, but other than that, I want to take a break and just chime in a little bit and uh, let you know that next step in this process should be Monday, getting everything done. Hopefully this week we'll have the letter to the county and we can get that started. Uh, as I mentioned, the uh, the paperwork isn't gonna be as bad as I thought. I just have to get what I can filled out and they'll tell me what else they need and it'll, it'll, it'll get done. Um, other than that, all is well. Off to the next. What's going on, my friends? Last time I was chit-chatting was I was at my lot cutting grass, which, excuse me, this, this camera I'm driving and it moves. Um, Today we're going to start the process. I say start because it's not going to be fully completed today on getting all my permits with the town. However, I found out pretty much what this is going to tell. It's crazy because the town that I'm in charges uh, a new contractor or a contractor business permit for new construction. Not like, you know, somebody's coming to work on my dishwasher. Well, they got to get a permit. It's going to cost you no. They got to get a permit for this because the uh, legacy that's bringing the house in has to get a permit. My concrete guy and my electrician. Um, so I'm going to have to call each one of those. I've already called legacy. They're fine. I told them I'll send them the application. They can get it filled out, send it back. Then I will pay you that permit for that. So I'm going to have to do that with the electrician and the concrete guy. So I got to get with the electrician and meet up with him real quick and explain and get him to fill it out so I'm paying for the permit I just need you to fill this out I need all the information put on your what you're quoting me for the electrical and then the concrete guy so once I get that done then the clerk in the town said once I got your site plan all that I've got to pay my tap and impact fee for the water we're good She'll send the letter and get it over to the, the county, and then I get the plans to the county. I got to get that paperwork done, submit everything. So it's a little bit of a process, as I said, but these are the things that you're going to have to do. Excuse me. These are the things that you're going to have to do if you're going to be building a tiny home out of a portable building or shed. And I re I'll reiterate this. I've said it before. I don't understand when I get on these Facebook groups, these people that are doing this, how they're getting around building code. But again, that falls on every state has different laws. You may be in a rural area on your own property and they aren't concerned with it. But they may be doing this stuff under the radar and God forbid something happens and you didn't have a building permit to build it and they start asking questions. There's a fire or something happens or somebody's got to come out and do work from the county or the state. You know that's on them you have to understand that there's no there's not the easiest way around this you're gonna have to go through this stuff the reason why I'm doing this the cool thing about it is that I'm doing it so we don't have to go through the conventional third conventional 30-year mortgage I can do this myself and it's a less cost and I can have it paid for in a less time because you may know as of right now interest rates are through the roof man it's a buddy of mine just built a house in Raleigh, North Carolina. They're moving from Denver, Colorado, and demand Denver is just crazy expensive. I mean, but they had a really good return, an extremely good return on their home, but they still had a little bit of a mortgage they had to put on the house in Raleigh, North Carolina. And 
he said the cheapest interest rate they got for that amount and their credit, which was fantastic and everything else, the money they put down on the house was 6.8%. And they're talking about another hike. So I, he said, my house note would have been 400 and something dollars a month, but no, it's eleven, twelve hundred dollars a month. If that tells you anything, it's tripled it. So that's a whole separate conversation, but I think, you know, this whole raising interest rates is a scam anyway. It's just to get bankers rich and, and, and cut our throats. But, you know, so be it. That's just, uh, it is what it is. But the, the smart way of doing this for me, just because of what I'm doing, is just go that route and, and do it my way, you know? So, but I'm still having to go by engineered plans architect and engineer plans got to go by the permits got to do everything legal so keep that in mind folks keep it in mind so we're going down to the uh to the town today i'm gonna at least get her the site plan because she said she's got to look over that and get all that done and shouldn't be any holdups god i hope not like i say i anticipate obstacles i hope there are very few that's just a part of this process my friends it's a part of it so We'll keep you posted on that for sure. So I went to the town, I gave her the site plan, and the license she actually needed was something called an LLR. It's a labor license and regulation number. Contractors have it in of different industries. And I was just like, oh, man somebody's got to have this number. So I call down the legacy and they're like, well, I'll find out what it's all about. And I'm like, oh, no. We got to find somebody with an LLR number. But the good thing is, is that we'll figure that out. It's going to take a moment. We'll get it out. Like I say, I I expect some obstacles here. Just hope not as many on this deal. Um, getting with the electrician this evening and Wednesday with the concrete guy. Those are the three I've got to get the permit for. So I'm going to get all their information. And I need their LLR numbers. And they should have it. They're contractors. So I would think that they have it. I mean... Uh, I may only need the LLR number for the people bringing the house in. If that's the case, then we're good. But we'll assume that it's needed for all three of these guys. Other than that, as far as they know, I'm self-contractor everything. I'll find a plumber to come in and help me get the stuff done for the rough out. Um, and just leave it at that. Um but we're going to get there. We're going to get there. So I'll keep you up to date on how that goes. Until then. Well, folks, <laughs> talk about a few obstacles, man, I'm having to deal with here. Still trying to reel these contractors in. And it's all boiling down to one thing, an LLR number. It's a uh, licensing, it's a labor licensing and regulation number. I don't know if this is something every state does, but in South Carolina, that number, I guess, ties into contractors. So I get with the contractor that's doing, the subcontractor is doing my concrete this morning. And he's like, I don't know what number you're asking for. I, I go over here to Isla Palms or Berkeley County and I tell them who I am. I fill out the application. And of course, on the application that Harleyville's asking for, it doesn't ask for LLR number, it asks for everything else. And I'm thinking, okay, well, Jose, just put everything on the application that you put for Isle of Palms and what they're asking on here, and let's just submit it. And then I'll see if maybe, if I just put self-contract for the county on that, then see what happens on that deal. I don't know. He didn't really say, no, you, these guys have to be a contractor that has to, has to frame your house. They have a business license. That's what they do. They know, and they're framing it and building it to code and what the engineer and architect asked for. So the electrician, I guess I'm down to one of two electricians. One hasn't called me back. The other one I spoke to yesterday, well, I didn't, I barely spoke to him. I don't think he wants to do the work. And I'm like, you know, I'm not playing phone games. I'm just going to, I've got a few electricians. I'm going to go with the first one I went to that I think he'll be 
he's got a actual LLR number. So I'll just go with him. I'll just say, listen, I need you to fill us out. I've got to get the permit for the town. I'm gonna go, if you submit the application, I'll pay the permits and get all that done. And then I need to get this so I can get to the county. You know, I've got to do this. So all this has to be done with the town first before I can even get to the county. So <laughs> that's the obstacles we're dealing with here. And I'm just like, oh my gosh. And folks, as like I said, this is not as easy as you think to do this stuff. And you've got to ask the questions and you really need to know what you're getting into as to how this works. Because you can't just go buy one of these things off a lot and just set it over there and go, ah, oh, it's tied down, everything's ready to go. Let's call an electrician, let's get that done, let's get power. Doesn't work that way. Good luck on getting even power to the building because it's not gonna happen. Uh, if the ordinances in the town you live in won't let you have an RV or an off-grid house, well, that's not even gonna happen. So, in other words, I can't use a septic tank and I can't drill a well in that town. I have to use the water there, so. You should be allowed to do that if you want to. We are in the United States of America, last time I checked. And that kind of bugs me a little bit, so. But it is what it is, it doesn't matter because Really, I don't care. My power, water, water, sewer, power, my, all my utilities, and my taxes won't be less than 3000 a year if I could just get this thing built. <laughs> you know, I, meantime, I've been researching things, what I'm going to do and how I'm going to do it with materials and stuff, and I'm making a lot of progress there. If I could just get to the point that we can get this house done, I can get the concrete done, getting the house in, get that done, and get my electrician and plumbing started. That would be beautiful. But we're going to get there, we hope. Again, cross your fingers, say prayers, wishes, anything you can that this goes through. It's always appreciated, I tell you. But I meet with, um, well, I met with the uh, concrete today. Hopefully I'll meet up with the electrician in the next day or two. Um, like I say, Legacy that's going to be building the the shed, the portable building, the home, has already submitted the application, and I called her to ask today. She said, yeah, all's good, we got the application. So I said, okay, I guess maybe they put all the information the application asked for, I don't know. But she still kept saying LLR number. I'm like, oh, brother. So, we'll see on that one, that's all we can do. So, other than that, we'll just see where it goes, that's all we can do. Well, folks, we're still in a holding pattern here with the the uh, permits for the town. Still uh, still trying to get all that done. Um, electrician I have is on board. We got a, he's gonna fill out his application and uh, we'll get that in, get that paid. It's just down to the concrete guy. Um, let's hope and pray Jose comes through because, well, I'm gonna have to find another concrete company if they don't approve Jose, so I don't know what to do here on this deal. I want to use that guy because he's going to be tremendously helpful with getting my sewer line hooked up here. Um, if push comes to shove where I have to to get a, another concrete company, I'm just going to have to find somebody to get that, that sewer line hooked up and get it to where the footings are out towards the, uh, towards the, the drain there on that deal. Uh, other than that, not much going on, still waiting, and uh, I think I need to get out to the property at some point, and I've got to do some measuring and put down those flags. And those flags are kind of marking as close as I can where the house is going to be and then where that shed is going to be. But uh, other than that, still much, not much going on. I get my tooth fixed tomorrow. It'll be gone. So maybe the next time you see me on camera, my teeth will look a lot better. We hope. But anyway... Let's see where we can, what results we can get. It had, you know, this week it just didn't seem to get everything done like I wanted to, but hopefully this coming week. And I feel sure we'll get it done. One way or the other, we're going to get something done. We'll see where that goes. Oh, well, it's been a few days since I posted, since I last spoke. Some time has passed. Um, one good thing is my teeth look good. How did that happen? It's called I went to the dentist and it cost me a damn armload of money. It's about as 
the only way I'm gonna put it. Oh God, still have to go back for a couple other things, but oh Lord, I think it's, I'm just going down to just make sure I floss every time I eat and rinse with the mouthwash every time I eat. I'm just gonna get that neurotic. I've never had the best of luck with dental work. I really haven't, but anyway. Um, good thing and a bad thing. I mean, it's not bad, it's just, I said in this process of building this house that there were going to be obstacles. And well, there's been a few. But it's, I don't think it's obstacles that you know we can't get through. We're gonna get through them. I think we're gonna be fine. Um, one is the electrician's on board. I've got that. They filled out the application. We've got that. The electrician. I've got the the house with legacy. It's all good. Thank God on that deal. Concrete guy. <clears throat> oh Lord have mercy. Apparently Jose did not have his LLR number, and he said, "I hate to break it to you. It's bad news. It's gonna take 90 days for me to get my number." And I'm like. Jose, I don't have 90 days. I don't have it. I gotta get this process started. We gotta get it rolling. So, um, I said, Jose, I'm gonna be calling you for some other things, you know, that I don't have to put on that permit. And that's okay, if it's okay with you. I mean, I still wanna call you because you're gonna help me brick. They're gonna brick for me. They do a fantastic job. He's gonna help me do that sewage line and some other things. So, Jose's still my man. He's gonna help out. I just wish I could use him for the concrete. Uh, I called a new concrete guy. I don't meet him until Tuesday. I just hope to God he's around the same price, if not better than Jose, because, oh Lord, you know, I, I'm just gonna have to kind of, this is where I'm gonna have to learn the art of the new deal or something. I don't know, or whatever the hell that is. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do something. You know, the art of the deal and learn how to, so, hey, well, this is a quote I got from this other guy. You can match that, and uh, you're my guy. You know, I'm just going to have to go with that. If not, let's go back to Google and find another concrete uh, concrete guy. We'll figure it out. Somebody, this guy, this guy has the LLR number. We know that. I know he's registered. Everything's there. So that's not going to be a problem. We get him to fill that out and get that done, and, and it work as good as goose. And then I get to the county. So it's... Yeah, a little bit of setback, but we're going to get there. So just uh, a few bumps in the road, but that's a part of this process. You know, if you're a, a licensed contractor and this is what you do all the time, you're used to it. It's just things work seamlessly. You have guys already lined up that you never do the work for you. And everything's up under their number. So it just is what it is. So um, excuse the noise. I got somebody calling my phone. They'll have to wait. I'll have to call them back. I don't know the number anyway. I don't know anybody in Bloomfield, Kentucky, do you? I don't. Anyway. But anyway, <clears throat> we're working on that, and uh, I should meet with them Tuesday, and we'll see where that goes. I don't know. I guess we'll meet at the property. I think it's best that we do. I, I emailed him the plans, um, and I just kind of said, hey, I preface this thing. Well, listen, it's not that big of a job compared to a big house. This is about... 500 square feet of just footings, not a full slab. Um, don't kill me too bad. <laughs> don't do that. I mean, Jose quoted me almost $8,000, so I, I would hope it ain't gonna be more than that with this guy. Um, hope he doesn't get too full of himself because there's a lot of other concrete guys out there that can match my quote and, and do the work as long as they have a labor licensing and regulation number. That's an LLR number for the state of South Carolina. I mean, you know, in any state that I've ever known of, you got to have a contractor's license. They do this to kind of, you take all your information, it's all in one place, and they have a history on you, and they know for safety reasons, for building code, they know you can approve you to do the work because it's a all part of this process. And I've said this a bazillion times before that I don't know how these guys are getting around these shed to home conversions without getting building permits and doing this stuff. I just don't know how they're doing it. I mean, yeah, granted, if you were out in Texas somewhere and you had four acres of property and you wanted to run the electricity line off of your house and have an electrician come do it and do it off grid or off the radar, that's fine, but you're not going to get home insurance for that. You get insurance on the building, but you're not going to get home insurance because they're going to say, where's all your permits? Where's your uh, certificate of occupancy? You know, But there again, it falls back, as I've said before, the things that I do and I don't know is that every state has different laws, man. They've got different laws. And, you know, apparently I'm not in a state that just has that 
isn't all that loosey goosey and all that lenient when it comes to stuff like this because one is that you know i'm in a hurricane zone man and they're very strict about the wind zone stuff and stuff that has to be done that's why you know you can't just take these shed home conversions i'm telling you if you're doing your research you watch this video and you're looking to do a tiny home shed to conversion you just can't take these things off the lot and just put it down on blocks and have them tie it down and say, here we go, we're good to go. Because, number one, you, I know in the state of South Carolina, they're not even going to give you electricity to the house unless you have the building permit to do so. And they, the building code gives them permission to do it and gives them the green light to go ahead and connect to the house. In other words, you have to be a certified licensed electrician or you have to hire one. There's no other way around that. And that's just their way of going. There's too many people who have jumped the gun on that. And there's too many, too many incidents and too many things where they've had a fire and then going on that. So other than that, that's the update on that deal. And um, just, again, I've said it before, if you're looking to do this, ask the questions. You're going to have to get the honest, get, get all the information about what you're up against. If you want to do this, tell them exactly what you're looking to do. And they're going to tell you. First thing, if it's like South Carolina, they're going to tell you, go get a, an architect engineer, do the plans and let them sign off and do all that. And we'll approve those. We'll make sure that they do it and it's all done right. Cost me about, it was $750 originally. It's a total of $850 for the plans. I mean, if you're going to do this, you got to do it, you know. But self contracting is a little bit of work, it took a little bit longer to do because you're not used to it. But in the end, it pays off because it saves a lot of money. Man, you can imagine, I'm saving anywhere from fifty to 60000 on up to 100000 bucks. I mean, compared to what one contractor told me, he said, I'll charge you 160000 to do what you want to do. I'm like, for a for 500 square feet of building space, are you kidding me? That's, living space is 465 square feet? No. I'll do it on my own, and I'll hire my own guys. You know, we'll do this my way, you know. So, but one thing, the one caveat here, I don't know if it's the right word to use of this, or the one exception is, I have to sign an affidavit that states that I, I am the sole resident, sole res, I am the sole, I am the sole resident of that house for a minimum of two years or more. I can't rent it and I can't sell it for two years. I guess to make sure everything is le legit, you know, and that's fine for, for capital gains, you can't sell a house less than two years or you're going to get taxed on it. So that's easy. I know I'm going to be there then, you know, no matter what I do. So it's not a problem. It's all good, folks. Anyway, I'll keep you posted and uh, we'll see where this goes. Okay. Finally. Oh my gosh. The saga of a concrete contractor. We've got one finally. Oh my gosh. A little bit more than what Jose quoted me, but I don't know if Jose went into quoting me what the site prep would be, but maybe he did. I wish I could have used Jose, but I'm going to use Jose for some other things. But we have a concrete contract, finally. They're going to fill the application out. They're going to get everything to the town Monday, and then this week, I get everything to the county. Get this thing started. It's about, uh, from now, for about six weeks up to it, hopefully it'll be earlier, we've got... To wait to get those approved because we're at the bottom of the pile to proceed uh i know when jamie collins at the county looked at these plans he said once i get that one revision which we got the framing detail he said i'll pass these it's okay you're good you're good to go they're going to send the letter over that they've approved everything on my end which we're good on that and once they approve it we proceed with legacy I get the water on the property in that time period of approval once I got tap and impact they're gonna waiting on the plans to be approved for the county we're going to get the water department to get the meter in Clancy and I are going to if I can get Clancy to help me I hope he will Clancy I love you I hope you can help me on this one I just need somebody there with me to operate this trencher because I've never run one before but I saw it on YouTube why not hey I saw it on YouTube can't be that hard <laughs> when was the last time you heard that one? I heard it on YouTube. I saw it. I can do it. That's like me thinking I might be doing my own sheetrock here. I think I need to get on those videos with Jeff Thorman. That guy is a rock star, man, with that DIY, DIY Renovision. If you want to learn about home repairs, Jeff is a rock star. That guy's so cool. Watch that channel. It's called DIY Renovision. He's so cool, man. He and a few others are so good at a lot of this stuff. There's a guy he recommends that's so good with plumbing I may watch this. I, I gotta still find my plumbing contractor, but I've got time for that because I didn't have to put that on the 
a permit application, as far as we know. So we're going to get that this week. We're going to be good to go. And other than that, all is well. I got to get out to the property and run that lawnmower. Clancy told me I'd come by tomorrow and grab that lawnmower. It's not supposed to rain. We got a little bit today, but I got to get that grass cut. I got to keep that cut. I, I was going to go out there and just give up, and just do the weed eater, which my electric weed eater, last time I was out there a week ago, just weed eating the area where the house is going to be so they could walk around. Um, and I think I could have weed eated that whole property with one battery. It didn't even use a, one square of those four or five squares. You ever, you ever see those uh, those Ego lawnmowers and those weed eaters, the 56 volt batteries and lithium, they're so cool. I love, my dad is hooked on them now. He's got a blower and a edger, loves my weed eater. In fact, we fed the weed eater line in there and it's the easiest I've ever, it is the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. Those Ego weed eaters, you got about 13 feet of line and you feed it through all the way from one hole to the other evenly and bring them to where it's all evenly outside. And then you hit this speed loader button and it just pulls it in and loads it. Ding, ding, it stops and you got it. You don't have to twine and do all that crap. So anyway, uh, I didn't go with the guy I met the other day. He just did not, he rubbed me wrong. He wanted to quote me $15,000. And then was, I don't know if I can do 13, you know, but uh, you know, it's, and Jose, he knew who Jose was. He's killing me because he get all these contracts and he's not working with a business permit. I'm like, I don't know about all that. All I know is that's between you and Jose and the town of Isle of Palms, South Carolina and Berkeley County. But I just need a contractor. I don't need semantics. I just need to know you're going to give me a good price and get it done. And he's telling me I need to give him half of it front. Now I'm like, hell, we may not even, this project may not happen. It's going to, but I said, what if it doesn't happen? I, I said, he goes, well, what makes you think it wouldn't happen? I'm like, what are you interrogating me? If the county turned me down, he goes, well, I'd get and have no choice but to give your money back. I said, well, what if I just scrapped it and said, I don't want to do it. We're not going to do it at all. Well, I can't do that. I can't give you under the hell you can't. You, they're just going to take $6,000 of my money. No, 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 no. <laughs> I mean, I, that rubs me wrong. That really makes me uncomfortable to work with somebody like that. And it's disappointing because the guy had good reviews, though. He it was a couple of reviews that people had a problem with something. I don't know what it was. He replied with this long book of something. I don't even know what the hell it was. I didn't read the whole thing, but I, I just was kind of joking with him about that to see what he'd say. And he didn't go into all the detail, but it just... The company I got was so receptive and so professional and just they email me a proper quote quickly and they're on their game. So it's going to be just a hair less than 11,000, somewhere about 10,700 and I'm okay with that. I'm just going to deal with it. We're going to get it done. A little bit over budget, but that's okay. It's going to get done right and that's all that matters. So anyway, I thank you guys for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Thank you so much for watching and uh, hit that like and subscribe if you haven't watched. I'm building a tiny home and I'm going to document it and I want you to follow it. Also, this channel, yes, it says van life. I am going to be doing that again back to that soon. There are videos of that for me. You want good advice on RV and van life? I'm as real as it gets. I've lived in it full time and I love it. Any questions you have, let me know. Chime in below. Be cool. Thank you. Bye.